Hi, my name's Ed Lee, and this is the Ski Yodel Guide to Avorias. Check out these views. Just stopped for a little bit of dried mango up the hill, and it's pretty spectacular up here. Uh, now, Ski Yodel uh, offer a network of self-catering accommodation across the Alps, uh, but the difference is they do it with plenty of local knowledge. So you don't have to waste your time and your money working out what's good and what isn't. You've got locals who can tell you exactly where you should be going and what you should be doing. And that's why I'm here. Uh, I've spent nearly 30 years in the Alps, uh, traveling backwards and forwards, and I've spent a lot of time in a lot of different resorts. And Avoriaz is one of my favorites for a lot of different reasons. It's in terms of freestyle and snowboarding, it's seen as the home in, in the French Alps, at least, of snowboarding. And it's one of those epicenters of the entire Alps. They've got some great snow parks there and some really lovely terrain. It also lends itself to beginner intermediate, so it's great for young families. And Avoriaz itself is one of those wonderful Carlos resorts, sits on a cliff 800 meters above Morzine. And it's purpose built, but you wouldn't know it from looking at it. Compare it to somewhere like Val Torem where you've got those big concrete towers and you've got cladding is all that lovely baked wood so the big buildings just sink away into the landscape um it's also got really short transfer time as well which makes it great for uh, young families uh, now in terms of where to go and what to do uh if you're looking for coffees first thing head to the satellite in Morzine if you're on the full Port de Soleil pass um if you're in Avorias though uh, Salosac uh, is a great place to start. Uh, if you're looking for a quick bite to eat, no no further to look than Changabang. I love that place. Uh, if you're looking for something a little more relaxed and uh, leisurely, then La Caban up in Avorias is well worth it. They've got a real mix. You've got a uh, sort of French Asian fusion menu with a side of sushi. They also do some really, really good cocktails, which if you're not careful, can seamlessly see the day merge into night. And before you know it, you're out out in your riding gear so be careful of that one that's my one caveat uh in terms of that ski seems La Cabane's really good it's a great place to start but uh the folly do's always seems obvious but if that's up your street then it's good fun for a couple of nights uh also worth checking out the place uh down in Morzine got some great live music in there in terms of where to head on powder days or with good snow check out uh Landere Bowl incredible terrain really easy access that's a great place to start and then i'm a big fan of the stash park uh avori has put that in i think nearly 10 years ago now and it's a snow park but it's built with uh trees that have been cut down so it's like an organic park with sort of a really nice flow line to it definitely worth checking out at least once uh, those are my tips for avorias you'll find loads more over at skiyodel.com where they've got all of the self-catering accommodation and plenty more local tips for all of the resorts that they service